That gate, it's getting bigger. If it gets much larger, Nemiroth can bring his fleet through. Then we must cut the link between Warp Gate and Tower. You have a plan. We use Invictus to sever the orbital spire. At that range, will the Titan's cannon be effective? It's time we use the power source to our advantage. To supercharge Invictus. We need to reach that Titan. My work began with two simple questions. On that day, my ship had just entered the dimensional limbo of the warp. Most people do not like to think of the warp's true nature. After all, it lets us travel between the stars. But the warp is the realm of chaos. Creatures of absolute evil and absolute power take their strength directly from it. So, I asked my questions. Could I tap into that power? And what could I do with it? Demon killed Inquisitor Drogon and then possessed his body. But why? Alone, there was no way the demon could get the power source past a million orcs. It needed help. And we obliged. I was deceived. I am responsible for chaos breaking through to this world. Genetic scan complete. Adeptus of Starty. Full access front. Ultramarines, attack! Duty requires that I put voice to my concerns. Speak, then. You held the unshielded power source again, Captain. And again, you emerged from the exposure unscathed. The Codex Astartes warns that those in league with Chaos can withstand the warp's touch. You forget yourself, Ultramarine. Leandros, I do not take this warp resistance lightly. But the search for answers must wait until after we deal with this chaos invasion. What if that is too late? Leandros, enough. We need to keep moving.
Help us! Demons! Demons! Guardsman, report. My lord, Space Marine. They were on us almost immediately. Lieutenant, Space Marines are here. Captain Titus, are you there? This is Lieutenant Mira. This whole planet has gone mad. The forces of chaos are invading this world. We must get to the Titan and destroy that warp gate. I know what route to take. I deployed troops to man outposts between the Calchas facility and Bastion Primus. From there, you can access the rail network and cross to Manufacturer Majakis. Understood. I will meet you there. Invasion, and now the tender mercies of chaos heretics. I'm surprised the place is standing at all. How? How can we face them? The legions of chaos. Trooper, get yourself together right now. Yes, ma'am. The other platoons are going to fall back towards the bastion. Hold this position, or they'll be cut off. Greetings, Ultramarines. What is your situation, Lieutenant? As well as can be hoped, considering we are surrounded on all sides by the enemy horde. We're heading back to the command post, Captain. Yeah. 
Grenades! over here. Well met, Mira. Jonah, I half expected to find a demon chewing on your bones. Well, they've spit me right out. Make your report, Jonah. The Greenskins have been pressing us hard, both down here and at the Bastion proper. Get ready to fall back to the Bastion. Do not engage Chaos forces directly until I get reinforcements down here to back you up. Aye, Lieutenant. Send a runner to the depot at position Alpha. Let's go. You're not leading this raid. Of course I am. Lieutenant, we need That's you in one piece. This Let's way. face it, you're holding us together out here, and if you get... I still don't think this is a good idea. It's not your call, is it? I say this is our best chance of taking the gun. But a nighttime assault! Have some faith, Samson. In the dark, we might catch those orcs off their guard. Unless they've... Lieutenant Mira, this is Bastion Primus. We're under heavy assault. The orcs are back. And they cut power to the sentry guns. All of them? They took out the generator. We couldn't defend it against such numbers. We had to fall back. The Ultramarines and I are almost at your position. Mirror out. The orcs have thrown my duties into chaos. I only get distress calls now. The Xenos are here. The Hablock's on fire. And today, Transmechanic Alaric insisted I contact every single planetary defense outpost. A hundred stations. He just didn't want to do it himself. None of the stations picked up. When I told him that, Alaric rushed off. No acknowledgement. No thanks. I suppose even an orc invasion can't change some people. Genetic scan complete. 
Adeptus is starting. Access authorized. Oh, it's always more. More green skins! Forward! Lieutenant, where is the generator? If you continue on, we'll find at the end of our fortification. I will contact you once I restore power. Brothers, the guardsmen will need your help until the guns are reactivated. We will hold the line, Captain.
guardsmen will point the way. Another gateway is close to your position. My thanks, Lieutenant. Here we are, my lord. Carry on, guardsmen. Sidonus to Captain Titus. We are running into orcs down here. Nothing like above, though. Just enough to be an annoyance. We will be there soon. Understood. On that fateful journey through the warp, in my exhausted musings, I let my guard down. Something a psyker should never do. My desire, my psychic will, reached out into the warp, and the warp reached back. A spark of warp energy appeared before me, tentative, flickering, and powerful. I felt it batter my psychic shields. My shock was absolute. I lost focus, and the spark disappeared. I knew I had to get it back. You think you can walk out of here with that sparky thing? I'm Boss Grimskull! This whole planet is mine! with you. The damned orc is dead. Finally, some good news. This rail line will take us directly to the Titan Manufactorum. The faster the better. Those orcs slowed us down. And gave Nemeroth time to prepare his invasion. We must get to the Titan and destroy that warp gate. dealt with their war boss once and for all. We have a chance now. Bolster your defenses. The demon host will not be so easy to frighten off. Good luck, Titus. All our hopes are with you. This section reports 5,302 workers absent. The Magos has been notified. Adeptus Astarte is recognized. Full Ultramarines. This is Princeps Enoch aboard Titan Invictus. This is Captain Titus. What is the status of the Titan? My crew and I are aboard Invictus, but she's immobilized. 
You will need to activate our berth's backup generator to release the mooring clamps. Understood.
experimentation with the warp energy is proceeding rapidly. I no longer need to travel into the warp to pull more energy into this dimension. But I am encountering All unexpected class nine and activity. Above. I was naive to, to think that my incursion Fight into warp space had gone unnoticed. Understood. Take care of the clamps. You and the Andros get the doors to the manufacturer and open. Understood, Captain. I needed to test the warp device's capabilities. Running the Titan Manufactorum with it, or rather with the power source, provided a convenient opportunity. The tech priests are practically giddy with its success, but this is a trivial accomplishment. I am impatient to begin to the testing the warp device's psychic attributes. I'm just waiting for the live cargo to arrive. Enoch, I have Inquisitor Drogon's power source with me. We must use it to supercharge your weaponry. The power source? The rights involved in using it safely? Only that I fabricated himself. Unless we act now, an entire Chaos fleet will hang over your forge world. Understood. My battle brothers will have the gates open shortly. Maneuver Invictus close to the topmost gantries. I'm coming aboard. Yes, Captain.
Lock it down. A demon is in the labs. Authorization required to implement security protocols. Drogon, Inquisitor, Ordo Xenos. Repeat authorization. Speak clearly. Drogon! Inquisitor! Ordo! Enoch, I have a target for you. The orbital spire. The spire? But Captain, it is a masterwork of the machine god. It is feeding energy into the warp gate above it. If we are to stop this invasion, the spire must fall. I understand. Must I bring the power source? Travel across the armature to the starboard side, Captain. I will open a maintenance apps for the volcano cannon. Protocol suspended. Access authorized. The apps is below you, Captain. Target the orbital spire. Target acquired. Firing now. Alarm. Ejecting power core. Shutting down all systems. Captain, all systems are overloading. Did it work? Invictus performed admirably, Enoch. The warp gate is closing. Thank the machine god. Shutting down all systems. That's done it, Typhus. But Nemeroth and his demon host still roam free. Though he is trapped on this world. And all the more desperate to recover the power source. We must get it to safety, old friend. Good news on that front. Lieutenant Mira reports that the Liberation Fleet has entered the system. The Inquisition will surely have sent agents with the fleet, Captain. Perhaps we can return the device to them. The Inquisition has already failed to stop its exploitation by chaos. No one must use the device, the Andros, ever again. Contact Lieutenant Mira and have her divert a Valkyrie here to pick us up. Yes, Captain. I suppose putting a bolt around through that damnable power source is out of the question. Too risky. We could open another warp gate, for all we know. Upon our return to McCrag, I will confide it to the chapter master and his librarians. And until then? My most trusted brother will bring it to our strike cruiser and seal it in the armory. Get this damn thing secured, Sergeant. As quickly as I can. <laughs> what will you be doing while I run this little errand? There are still thousands of traitors and heretics on this world. I intend to drastically thin their ranks. Lieutenant Mira's Valkyrie is on its way, Captain. Excellent. We make for the landing pad. And watch for the Chaos Lord's forces. There! 
Retrieve the warp device. Sidonus, get to the landing pad. Aye, Captain. Traitors are determined, and this landing pad does not offer much cover. to my evolution, to my ascension, to immortal demonhood. My armies will spill humanity's blood across the stars. You continue to resist my touch. Only a deep connection to the warp can explain this. Will you be joining us soon, brother? I couldn't reach him in time. Sidonus died as we all should. A righteous battle. Do not give it to grief, Leandros. Turn your thoughts to vengeance. Nemeroth will pay in blood.
The sergeant. The traitor lord murdered him. Nimeroth killed Sidonus for the power source. You said the Inquisitor's work was heretical, Leandros. You were right. What do you mean? Nemeroth plans to use the power source to trigger his transformation into a demon prince. Abomination! How can we stand against such a creature? I will kill Nemeroth when he's most vulnerable. During the transformation. Safeguard Sidonus until the Apothecary arrives. Then join the Imperial attack. Going alone is suicide. Or worse, we know the enemy takes great interest in your connection to Chaos. Do you fear my falling to Chaos? Of course not. Whatever lies behind your resistance, it can only be to the enemy's favor. Why? Perhaps this resistance can get you close enough for a killing blow. I will destroy Nemroth with skill and steel, or die trying. If this resistance comes into play during battle, so be it. So be it.